Welcome back. From that interview, let's move on now to how government has been dealing with issues of violation of the lockdown order and the social distance directive. On Monday, the 6th of April, the Lagos State Government arraigned popular Nollywood actress Funke Akidele and her husband, Abdul Rashid Belu, popularly known as JJC Skills, for flouting the social distance directive. Here's a report. This viral video sparked an outrage on social media. It's that of a birthday party hosted by famous Nollywood actress Funke Akindele and her husband, JJC Scales, and over 20 persons in attendance in clear contravention of the social distance directive. After their arrest, they were both arraigned at the Samwa Ilori Magistrate Court in the Oba area of Lagos. A large crowd defied the lockdown to watch the arraignment. Journalists also turned up in their numbers to cover the proceedings. With no regard for social distancing, the couple, shielding themselves from the cameras, are led by the police into the courtroom. Chief Magistrate Yewande Ajiafunwa is very strict. She allows only parties and their counsel into her courtroom, a crowd not exceeding 20 persons. The journalists are also barred from covering the proceedings. The one count charge states that the defendants gathered with over 20 persons at their residence, contrary to Regulation 8, Subsection 1, A and B, which is punishable under Section 58 of the Public Health Laws of Lagos State 2015. When asked if the facts as put forward by the state against them were true, Funke Akindele in tears responds that it is. She, however, adds that there were slight modifications. Her husband echoes the same line, but Chief Magistrate Ajia Funwa says the couple cannot give a partial answer or else a plea of not guilty will be entered against them. After this, the couple pleads guilty. The Attorney General of Lagos, Moyo Onibanjo, who led the prosecution, immediately asked the court to sentence them accordingly. In his allocutors, the defendant's lawyer, Abayami Alagbada, says the couple are first-time offenders and very decent members of the society. He stressed that they have two young children who need the attention of their parents, and one of them is very ill. In her sentence, the magistrate held that the gathering was a reckless and irresponsible act. She adds that it is callous for an individual to throw such a huge party when thousands have died or have been infected and the whole world is mourning. According to her, while governments are paying millions to flatten the curve, the two defendants were strengthening the curve by throwing a party. Have the two defendants lived up to the expectations of the public and teeming youths that look up to them? The answer is no, she says. She, however, notes that the defendants had no prior criminal record and looked remorseful. To serve as a deterrent to the general public, she fined them 100,000 naira each. She also ordered that they be immediately held in isolation for 14 days in a place known only to the Lagos State Ministry of Health, after which they will serve a 14-day community service in any public place in Lagos. A defendant shall also be made to visit 10 important public places in the state to create awareness on the COVID-19 pandemic and the consequences of non-compliance with the law. They are also to provide the names, addresses and GSM numbers of every person who attended the party within 24 hours. More importantly than all this sentencing is just to say that um, these regulations are important. Uh, the restriction is not just uh, because gov not, the government doesn't want people to move, but is to protect everybody's life. And the government will not tolerate or permit anybody to endanger others. The Attorney General also says the other persons who attended the party, including popular artist Naira Mali, will be arrested and arraigned in court on Wednesday, the 8th of April. And in keeping with his words, an officer from the Attorney General's office, the Director of Public Prosecution, led the prosecution of Naira Mali and a former governorship candidate, Babatunde Badamosi, and his wife, Folashadi. <laughs> Again, a large crowd defied the lockdown order and turned up at the Samur Ilobi Courthouse of the Magistrate Court, sitting in Oba area to witness the arraignment. The police are, however, proactive. They kept the court gates locked and admitted only the defendant and their counsel in court. 
Because of this, cameramen were unable to get clear footage of the defendant. Journalists are also barred from covering the proceedings, but after an appeal to the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, he nominated Channel Television's judiciary correspondent, Shala Shueli, as the only journalist to be admitted into the court to cover the proceedings on behalf of the others. A DPP, Yakubo Shola, told Magistrate Ajia Funwa that having shown remorse, the state government decided to withdraw the charge against the three defendants on the condition that they tender written apologies to the Lagos state government as well as issue undertakings to comply with the directive on lockdown and social distancing, including a stay in isolation for the next 14 days. Hey, everybody, come on. I don't want anybody to come and stop me. Through their counsel, Wale Akoni, Ebon Adegbarua, Damilola Ayinde Marshall, the defendants all agreed to the conditions and 24 hours later, they complied with the directive. In his letter of undertaking, Naira Mali says he will join the Lagos State Government's campaign against the spread of COVID-19 by making a free audiovisual publication. The letter was tendered in court on Thursday as part of the conditions for the government to withdraw the charge of breaching the social distancing directive made against him and the other defendant. The magistrate at Jiafunwa subsequently approved the withdrawal of the charge against them. In another proceeding, the police on Thursday arraigned over 200 fitness enthusiasts before two mobile courts at the state for CID, Monty, Yaba, for violating the lockdown order made to curb the spread of the COVID-19 disease in Lagos. Officials of the Lagos State Task Force had arrested the violators of the order at over 15 areas in Lagos, including Yaba, Agege, Ogudu Ajota and Iju areas of the metropolis, while they were either jogging, cycling or loitering. They were charged before two magistrates of the Lagos Mobile Court. The violators, who mostly pleaded guilty to the charge, were ordered to pay to the Lagos State Government fines ranging from 5,000 to 10,000 and were ordered to immediately commence a two-hour community service. The order is sit at home and you decide to step to the streets. It's no longer your home. You are outside. It's a violation on its own stepping out unless there is an essential reason to be there, to be out. All exercise can be done at home. If you are a sportman, most sporting activities have been shut down to uh, stop the spread of this virus so that people can be at home. The essence is to uh, prevent uh, physical contact. Now, some are saying it's just an uh, individual jogging. So you have one individual stepping out, another individual also stepping out. They call it individual jogging. Before you know, you have over 100 individuals on the route in the name of individual jogging. It's already a crowd and they are jogging, passing each other. Then the ones playing football also rubbing each other's shoulder, playing, and then they also have uh, spectators watching. They turn the, the road to the stadium for them to play their football. We can't allow that to continue. That's why you see the mobile court also sitting. We can't send them to prisons because of their number. We need to decongest the prisons at this time and we can also keep them in cell. So what we do, as soon as we get them, we record their statements, we listen to them, we get their own reasons why they are out, we move them to mobile court. They take their plea and the court decides. And that's the program this week. Don't forget that you can watch again this episode of the program and past episodes on our YouTube channel. I'm Shola Sheeli. Thank you for watching.